likes moments of happiness with moments of sadness. Wonderful moments are mixed with painful ones. We will experience a full range of feelings about the events in our lives. I honestly looking at what we have to come in our addiction. We recognize the powerlessness and unmanageability of our lives. Going beyond our reservations, we accept our addiction, surrender, and experience the hope that recovery offers. We realize that we can no longer go on as we have been. We are ready for a change. We are willing for another way. With our willingness, we move on to step two. Step two. She. We think we believe that a power greater than ourselves could restore us to sanity. Our surrender in the first step leaves us with a deep to believe that we can recover. This surrender makes it possible for us to find hope. By admitting our own powerlessness, we open our minds to an entirely new idea. The possibility that something greater than ourselves might be powerful enough to relieve our obsession to interact. It is quite likely that before coming to NA, we never believed in any power but our own willpower, and that had to die. They introduced us to a new understanding. We the hope from this understanding and the people and what we need to believe that a power greater than ourselves can restore us to sanity. We find additional hope by listening to other recovery addicts. We can relate to our thinking and the hope from the place to come. We listen closely at meetings and become willing to apply what we feel to our own life. As we begin to believe that there is hope for us, we also begin to retrust the process of recovery. Our white booklet space. There is one thing more than anything else that will defeat us in our recovery. This is an attitude of indifference or intolerance towards spiritual principles. Three of these that are indispensable are honesty, open mindedness, and willingness. This doesn't mean we must be entirely earnest, open minded, and willing. We just have to try and guess we can open this list principles. As we first get to the truth, we can practice the principle of honesty by acknowledging and sharing what we the world and believe about a power greater than ourselves. The will of being our open mindedness requires some effort, but we can practice this principle by listening. And it shows how they came to believe. For many of us, the willingness to try something we came about simply because we were so tired of our own voice. It seemed to us that because our own power wasn't sufficient to restore our sanity. Perhaps something else could, if we let it. Many of us felt that insanity 
Miller. Well, I said I'll get to addiction. The victim from the obsession to use APR first experience of a car quicker than ourselves that work in our lives. Perhaps for the first time in many days, our obsession with stress no longer controls our every waking moment. So if that we don't have to use today, it will hard to believe in and on itself. It's hard to be the mellow fit to the process of coming to believe. For some of us, this may be only a faint of effort. Perhaps just the fact that maybe, if we work this closer, our lives will get better. Our focus to think as our life looking to improve. For many of us, this can be discussed as a belief in something intangible. After all, who can logically explain the sudden lifting of an obsession to distress? Yet this has happened for many of us. We are hope for a different life and the beginning of our faith that recovery is possible. This was the process of coming to believe in a power quicker than ourselves. We come from various walks of life and experience. So it is natural that we bring with us differing concepts of spirituality. In an age, no one is
Lucy Lake Center way on left by leaving according to spiritual principles. We eventually fell and left on our thinking. It is not necessary that we define for ourselves the entire concept of a more greater than ourselves. Those of us with many years of recovery find that our understanding of a higher power changes over time. Our belief grows, as does our faith. We come to believe in a power which can help us far more than we originally thought. As we search for understanding of a higher power, we can talk with our sponsor and other recovery addicts. We may ask them what their idea of a higher power is and how they have arrived at it. This may open our minds to possibilities we hadn't considered before. While it is useful to question others about their spiritual beliefs, we must remember that our understanding of a power greater than ourselves is up to each individual. Others can help us. We may even adopt the ideas of someone else for a while or just believe that they believe. Eventually, however, we need to come to believe for ourselves. The need for our own sense of spirituality is too vital to our recovery for us to look at this highly personal process. For us, part of the process of coming to believe is accepting evidence we see. Our addiction caused us to deny the truth we saw. But now, in recovery, we can believe what we see. At first, we open our minds and try something new, somehow believing that what we try might work. After we take a few small steps toward belief and trust and see results, we become willing to take bigger steps. We find that we are no longer acting as if we believe. Our belief is now reinforced with our own personal experience, some of which is unexplainable. We sometimes encounter remarkable coincidences in our lives that have no rational explanation. We don't need to explain or analyze these occurrences. We can simply accept that they happen and be grateful for them. The longer we stay clean, the more evident it becomes that our addiction goes much deeper than the drugs we use. Much of our problems seem to center in our search for something to make us beautiful. It is a tremendous struggle to stop relying on our own reasoning and that for God especially given the self-centered nature of our disease. However, we are becoming open-minded in realizing that we did have all the answers. We begin to find some humility. We may not grasp the full impact of what we humble in. But our open-mindedness assures us that we have fun and have begun to demonstrate this valuable quality. Our community and open-mindedness 